Welcome to Funky Pearls Radio, where today we're celebrating the musical journey of the Jones Girls, an iconic trio whose soulful harmonies and distinct sound left an indelible mark on the R&B scene. The Jones Girls, Brenda, Shirley and Valerie, were born into a musical family in Detroit, Michigan. Their mother, Mary Frazier Jones, was a singer, nurturing their talents from a young age. By the 1960s, the sisters were already making waves in the music industry, performing alongside legends like The Four Tops, Little Richard, The Impressions, and B.B. King. Their first recordings, including Learn How to Love and Come Back, showcased their vocal prowess, earning them recognition in the R&B world. By the mid-1970s, they had become sought-after background vocalists, working with artists like Aretha Franklin on Almighty Fire and Linda Clifford on Runaway Love, the turning point for the Jones girls came when they joined Diana Ross on a major tour. This exposure led them to Philadelphia and the attention of Kenny Gamble, who signed them to Philadelphia International Records in 1979. This move marked the beginning of a golden era for the sisters. At Philadelphia International, the Jones girls released four phenomenal albums. The Jones Girls, 1979, At Peace with Woman, 1980, Get As Much Love As You Can, 1981, and Keep It Coming, 1984. These albums included hits like Nights Over Egypt, You Gonna Make Me Love Somebody Else, and Dance Turned Into a Romance, cementing their place in R&B history. In addition to their own albums, the Jones Girls provided background vocals for numerous artists, enhancing tracks by Frida Payne, Lamont Dozier, Thelma Houston, and others. Their versatility and harmonies added a unique depth to every song they touched. The trio's journey took a new turn in 1983 when they moved to RCA Records for the album On Target and then returned to Philadelphia International for Keep It Coming in 1984. During this period, Shirley Jones embarked on a successful solo career, highlighted by her 1986 album Always In The Mood and the hit single Do You Get Enough Love? Tragedy struck the group in the early 2000s with the loss of Valerie in 2001 and Brenda in 2017. These losses were profound, not only to the remaining sister Shirley, but also to the countless fans who adored the Jones Girls. As we remember the Jones Girls on Funky Pearls Radio, we honor a group that brought elegance, soul, and heartfelt emotion to the music world. From their early days in Detroit to their success at Philadelphia International, the Jones Girls' legacy is one of musical excellence, sisterly love, and enduring influence in the world of R&B. Their music continues to inspire and resonate, reminding us of the power of harmony, passion, and the enduring bond of family.